Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ashley Merlini, and we're back with another video. Within this video, it's going to be more of a life update of where I've been since it's been a minute since I posted. The last time I posted was um two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, I believe it was two years ago. Um, the last time I recorded was during quarantine. Um, if you want a, a little backstory on that, um. I was still in quarantine for five months straight and then I my first time out was August 22nd of 2020 so I was in quarantine for five months straight from March 14 of 2020 all the way to August 22nd of 2020 so yeah five months straight you know um, I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory of why I wasn't uploading so the backstory is um I was living with my grandmother at the time since we lost our home and so since living in a household with six well five people plus me equals six um it was a lot of energy so and I didn't have my own space in order to sit there and create a video as as I will freely would like to um not only that people would like visit a lot you know my grandmother was a little famous i mean my grandmother is a famous person and within the neighborhood and people loved her um my grandmother's a church person so people from church always wanted to come and visit talk to her interact with her um yeah so while living in my grandmother's house it was you know mental health was very up high for me um and I wasn't able to like take care of myself because I was the eldest daughter of my mom and because of that um I felt like I always had to take care of others before me and now I'm learning to like take care of myself do what makes me happy and just self-care all the way it's not as easy when you're the eldest daughter but you know you learn how to put boundaries and you put what's necessary for you, you know. I love being part of my family and I love my family and I love my mom and all. But you know, I need to make a life for myself and do what's best for me from time to time. So um, to give you an update, I'm not in my grandmother's house anymore. As you can see, I am in my own room. I moved into a two bedroom, two bathroom. Wait, I'm, so I moved in into, a two bedroom two bathroom um and i'm so happy for this because i got to have my own space my space is i feel like i'm living in a place that's so big that i don't know how to fit in it but i'm learning to accommodate adjust and live with the new norm because i went from living in a one bedroom with six people plus visitors and then going to like we're having this one bedroom to myself not knowing how to decorate not knowing how to like put things in place because i didn't know where where things were gonna go because i was able to say that so basically in other words i had to say what i put in my room and what goes and what you know and what and what um basically i had a way of I had to say what I did with my room and it was like something new because this is my first time having my own room to myself ever since I was a kid. I always shared my room. At first it was with my mom and then shared it with my sister and then sharing for my sister to sharing it with, you know, um, sharing it with my grandmother, my mom, you know, um, that that moment of my life was a moment where I learned so much gratitude of having my own space and appreciating um, having that alone time by myself. And I and I look forward to enjoying and I look forward to enjoying that space within my room and creating those memories by myself. Just watching, you know, a video by myself, creating a video. Um, for you guys, um, I look forward to that, like creating so much videos and I look forward to decorating it and, and finding my own identity within that. 
I look forward to creating memories, sleepovers, um, watching stuff on TV just because I want to and, and I don't have to wait on anybody to watch TV. Um, just able to come home and have a space that's called mine and nothing, excuse me, and nothing or no one can ever have a say because it's mine and that's the beauty of it. Right now, it's like looking like a little like crazy because I'm I'm learning to like decorate. Don't get me wrong, decorating is fun, but when you're on a budget, that's another thing. Like you have to learn how to adjust, which is fun. You know, I learned so much with like decorating this room, and I've been here for like uh I think two months. I've been here. I think I've been here two months. Wow, it's been that long. Wow, I can't believe it's happened so quickly. That's how I, like, to this day, I can't believe that back in, you know, 2018, my family and I lost our, um, we were in court fighting for our home, and then 2018, 19, 20, so and then four years later, we we have our own place. Like, it feels so good to say that. And, and be able to, like, just come home and, knowing where you're going to and when you and what you're gonna do when you go home and able to say I get to do this and I don't have to bother nobody nobody gets to bother me I get to focus and grow in my own space and become the person that I was meant to be that's what I look forward to and I look forward to taking you guys on this journey with me um I've been blogging like from from the moment I first moved in till now i just haven't had the time well i personally let's just say this i personally haven't made the time to sit there and edit so i'm gonna make it my business to sit there and edit and this is gonna be my first video to edit and then this is gonna go up tomorrow right now it's literally 12 o'clock at night i was supposed to do this video literally 9 o'clock at night and i was i was just like so shy and i didn't want to open up because i I was like scared that people were gonna like make fun of me in my situation of you know losing my house, being homeless, and living within my grandmother. And you know, it's 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 not a pretty situation, but it's something that I learned from, and I, I'm always gonna appreciate my grandmother, and I'm always gonna appreciate her taking us in. She could have just left us in the street, but no, she took us in, even if we're different personalities, even if you know we were like. A lot of people she still took us in and it shows um and it really shows what people are willing to do even if even if they don't have nothing to offer you but just a, a roof over your head and I learned to like appreciate a lot of people in my life because I was in this moment in my life I remember I pushed I pushed out a lot of people and I became so like closed off and so sad and so depressed so I became so closed off and so like didn't want to know about the world. I didn't want the world knowing about me, and I just wanted to like like just be like I just wanted to like wear a big old hoodie and and just shrug off the world off me the the world off of me. When I was going through the situation, I felt like school was like my my escape, but not even that could have been my escape because it was so much pressure. Of finding a place, dealing with the uh, a rent going up, dealing with budget, dealing with like having to take care of my family because at the time being I was my grandmother's caretaker and I was there for my mom. I was there for everybody, but I wasn't there for what meant what I had to take care of, which was my priorities. Don't get me wrong, I love being there for my mom. I love I was I loved you know taking care. So don't get me wrong, I love taking care of my grandmother. I love being there for my mom. I just wasn't making, I just wasn't putting boundaries and knowing how to like take care of me too along the way. But I love being there for my grandmother for a doctor's appointment. I love, you know, being there when, when she needed, she needed us too. So just as much as I was able to take care, just as much my grandmother was able to take care of us, just as much we were able to take care of her. And I love, you know, being involved in her life. And I learned so much more about my grandmother. She's just so caring. I can't believe it. I was at my lowest and I was going through, I never thought I was gonna go through this. Never in a million years I was gonna see myself losing my job, 
um, in a pandemic, living with my grandmother, living with five people plus whoever visited, and just going through depression, anxiety, and I'm just happy that I was like, I was going through all of that, but then in 2021, I decided that I was gonna make it an effort to put my best foot forward and focus on school. And I'm not gonna lie, once I made that decision, I've done a lot for you. I've done a whole lot. I've done like three internships. You know, my grades wasn't, my grades were horrible. Now they're getting better. Now I'm being like attentive in class. And I'm, so, yeah, long story short, just to wrap it up, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm back and I'm better than ever. You're going to see me more often. Um, if you have any idea, um, if you have any YouTube, if you have any YouTube videos idea, tell me in the comments below, and I will, and I look forward to you know doing them, and I look forward to like just doing YouTube. I love YouTube. I I I generally do. You know, I just. I was, I was I was afraid of, I wasn't afraid I was scared of like opening up and being judged but guess what you just, I we just had to accept as humans that not everybody's gonna like us and that's okay what else I love, I love the color pink people hate pink I still love the I still love the color pink you see what I mean you can't be you can't be looking at at the world we can't we can be so focused on people not liking us, but we have to be focused on those that love us. So, and be able to support us. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload. Um, to give you guys an idea, I want to upload every Wednesday. Um, since I have old videos and I'm still vlogging as I go. Um, but hopefully I get so updated to the point that you guys are seeing my events as they have, you know, like, let's say I upload, I, I record today and then tomorrow I'm able to upload. That's an update. Um, update I want to be, but if you have any YouTube ideas that you would like for me to record, please let me know. I'm more than happy to consider your ideas. Add me on Instagram. My Instagram is Ashley Merlini. Ashley is A-S-H-L-E-Y. Emmy Merlini is M E R L N L A I N I E. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.